Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys some really amazing hidden features of iOS 14. These are very useful features that are hidden within iOS 14 and you probably never heard of but you should know about them because they're very very useful and of course will make your life easier using your iPhone on iOS 14. You probably have heard about the mentions feature of iOS 14. On iMessage you can mention anyone on any conversation just like you do on the social media, on comments or stuff like that. So how to do that? Of course you can add someone or just by typing the name here you can see now if I type the name of any of my contacts you can see it will basically gray out that text. Now I can just go ahead and tap the space bar here just if I just want to add that word here or that name or I can tap on it and now it will show me the contact and I can just tap on it and you can see now it will become blue and that way I have mentioned that name on this conversation. Take a look at my device here once I plug it into charge. You can see once it's in charging you can see it will turn on low power mode automatically and that of course will help the iPhone charge way faster. I go ahead and remove it you can see low power mode is now turned off and this is the new feature of iOS 14 the new automations that you can add on iOS 14. So you just go to the shortcuts app go to automations tap the plus button create personal automation and right here at the bottom you will find three new ones so you will have the charger battery level and you will have low power mode as well so you can choose basically different automations that you can perform when once of one of these things is happening when your iphone is low power when it reaches a selected percentage of battery so for example you can set like at 50 percent battery turn on low power mode or stu stuff like that or the one that i just did show you the charger one which is basically turn off or turn on things when you enable when you plug it in to charge or remove the charger from your device so in this case i have added the low power mode so once i go ahead and plug it into charge it will automatically turn on low power mode so these new three automations are new on ios 14 and of course you can find them on the shortcuts app so right here on the home screen of my device on iOS 14, I have this page here with suggested apps from Siri. Now here's the trick. You can add multiple widgets with suggested apps from Siri and they will be different. So if you add, add like two ones here, I have two widgets. You can see right here there are Siri suggestions, two different widgets, and you will have different app suggestions on both of them. So that's really, really nice. So this is a feature that you might not know about you might think that when you add it you add another one it will just show the same apps but it doesn't it will basically show different apps on each of the widgets and you can have as many as you want and one other feature that is hidden right here is that if you see any app that you know you will not use and siri is just showing it here you can go ahead and just force touch on it and you will have the option here to tap don't suggest this app so you won't see it anymore on the siri suggested apps but what if you want to get out of the edit mode you will have to reach there for the dumb button but what you can do is just tap anywhere again and it will quickly go out of the edit mode another feature here on the widgets panel so if you go to the edit mode and you go to the widgets panel you will have your widgets here of course you can go ahead and easily add any of these widgets to the home screen simply by dragging it like this tap anywhere on the screen here just swipe actually and go ahead and move it anywhere you want and place it anywhere you want on the home screen of your device. When adding a new widget on the home screen of your iOS 14 device, of course, you just tap here, add widget, and it will be automatically added to the top of the page, of course, rearranging your apps. But what you can do here is not tap the add widget at all. Just tap and hold here on the preview of the widget, and now you will be on the home screen, and you will basically have the ability to move it around and just add this widget anywhere you want on the screen of your device. Just drag it like this, and as easy as that, you can place it anywhere you want on the home screen. Another cool feature is that you can actually move around and drag widgets to the other page alongside with your apps. So you tap and hold, go to the edit mode. Here I want to drag this widget, but I also want to move a few apps so I can just tap right there. And just like you do with apps, now you will have the ability to move them alongside with a widget and of course place it any page you want. 
A lot of new features have been added to the Photos app on iOS 14, and one of them is the ability to filter pictures. So you go to an album, you tap on the three dots right there, and you can go ahead and tap on filter, and just like this, you can go ahead and filter all the pictures that are on that album. So let's say I wanna show just the favorite pictures that are in this album, tap right there, tap done, and you can see the filter right there, it shows me just the favorite picture. I can just tap right there and go ahead and choose whether I want to show just the photos, just the videos, or maybe the edited pictures. You probably know that on iOS 14, now you will have the ability to add captions to your pictures. You just swipe like this on a picture and you can add a caption right here. But if you want to share that picture, then you can go ahead and tap on options. You can see the captions right there. You tap on options and right here you will have the ability to move the caption from the photo that you're sharing. So if you don't want to share the photo with a caption as well, you can just go ahead and disable it right here. A really cool feature of iOS 14 is the new picture in picture mode. You can of course drag it anywhere you want. You can pinch in and out to zoom like this, or you will have the ability to double tap right there to zoom. So you will have three different levels of zoom by just double tapping, you can make it like the smallest one, the middle one, and the bigger one simply by double tapping anywhere on the picture here in the picture in picture mode. A new feature that Apple has added to the camera app of iOS 14, but you need to actually enable it. And if you don't, it won't work. You will have to do that through the settings of the camera. So you go to settings, go to camera and enable it right here. Use volume up for burst. So if you want to take burst photos, all you have to do is just tap on volume up. And just like that, it will start start shooting burst photos. So as easy as that, tap and hold and you're good to go. But again, you will need to go to the settings app in order to enable this hidden feature. If you're on the photo library of iOS 14 and you're searching for something, but you want to dismiss the app library, you don't have to tap cancel and then tap here to actually go out of the app library. All you have to do is just swipe like this from the left to the right. And as easy as that, you will dismiss the search screen of the app library. A very useful privacy feature of iOS 14 can be found under privacy and location services. So right here we'll find all the apps that are using your location. And what you have here is an option called precise location. Now, if you enable this, then that app will know precisely where you're at. So it will precisely know your location. But if you go ahead and disable this, then it won't know. It will just basically have your approximate location, not the precise location you're at. And you can do this for any of the apps right here from the location services settings. And last but not least is a feature that can be found on the control center is the magnifier. Now, of course, this is an old feature, but if you go to magnifier on iOS 14, you will see a totally new interface. And if you go ahead and take a picture, you will notice that now there will be saved right here within the magnifier app. So you can go ahead and take a look at them right here and you can tap the share button if you want to save them, but they won't actually be saved automatically. So right here we'll have all the shots that you have taken with the magnifier app alongside them you will have also different controls like the flash here you can zoom in and out you will have different filters as well so like color filters and all that these are all new with the new magnifier app on iOS 14. So that is it for this video, guys. These are some really amazing iOS 14 features that you probably never heard of that are kind of hidden within iOS 14, but at the same time, they are very, very useful. And of course, you should know about them. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe for more iOS 14 videos. And we'll see you guys on the next one.